what's going on YouTube and welcome back to your eighth Java tutorial in the advanced series and so we're continuing off where we left off with our interface um, tutorial why is my cursor blinking do you guys see that that's weird anyways so as I said we're gonna be just finishing off where we left off and so basically so far we created an interface called car now the car interface has two functions that we prototyped in it called top speed and color and then in order to use these functions within our YouTube tutorials class we have to use the implements keyword and then the name of our interface we would like to implement now this might be a little hazy why we would do this right now but once we get into game development you guys are gonna see exactly what what use um, implementing interfaces um, actually has but right now it's kind of vague but um, to stick with it and kind of, kind of try and understand just the syntax why we implement it like how we implemented it how we created an interface and um, once we get to game programming it'll be all better um, so now basically we can actually define what our top speed um, function does so right now we could just make a print something out so system dot print line the top speed of the car is I don't know, let's say 100 miles per hour. And usually our um, class that we're going to be implementing to would be kind of a subset of the interface. So when I say a subset, this class would actually be called like Lamborghini or it would be called a Mercedes SLK uh, 400 series or something. Uh, so right now, why don't we just do that? Why don't we make it a little more accurate and actually rename it to something like that so let's rename our youtube tutorials class to i don't know let's name it to my fo to a like a ford focus or something car that i drive around <laughs> so refactor it and now we have a car called a ford focus that implements the car interface so the top speed of my car is 100 miles per hour which i really doubt <laughs> um but anyways let's uh print this out so and we're going to just def do a little definition of the color function now and we could say the color of the car is red period and now that we actually um, have a definition for these functions that we implemented from the interface we can now call these just by by normal methods that we usually do top speed I can't type anymore and oh and of course we would have to it's we're getting an error because this is not a static method so really we should be creating a uh, constructor so we would just go public forward focus and then we would just call top speed within the constructor and we could call color also in the constructor and then after that we could uh, access this constructor by just going um, I don't know if I've shown you guys this shortcut before but instead of going forward focus f is equal to new forward focus that's one way to call your constructor but you could also instead of assigning it to a variable we don't really need this variable we don't actually use it we could actually just go like this just go new forward focus we're gonna get a little um, warning it says assign return value to the new variable um, but you don't actually need to so let's just run this and we should get top speed uh, we should get a little print statement that says the top speed of the car and a print statement that says the color of the car so let's just run that right now the top speed of the car is 100 and the car color is red so as you can see we implemented the interface properly we defined the functions and we called the functions and they worked perfectly so that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any questions about this feel free to shoot me a message and i'll try and answer you guys as soon as i can um hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you next time